Welcome to the Oregon Fly Fishing Blog. I'm Greg Senio and today we're going to tie the artificial intelligence. Add the 25 millimeter shank to the, to the vise. I'm going to go ahead and attach. Here I'm using um, the UTC 70 denner. I like to use a lot of a little smaller thread than most guys do. Take a piece of Senio's intruder wire. I'll go ahead and fold it over. Pinch it down. I just like to loop it on the back. It's about two inches or so. What I'm going to do is tie this to the sides of the shank and then slowly push the wire underneath the shank. The reason for that is it's not really needed, but I like to have a little bit of extra security, so I like to put the wire through the eye, pinch it down, and lock it in. That way I don't have to use any glue or anything else to, to secure it in. If you have a few little pieces left, just trim it off. So now our wire is attached for our hook. Next we're going to take a piece of chartreuse crystal flash chenille. Tie that in. Gonna form just a little just a little ball on the back, usually about three or four wraps is all you need. Trim off any excess. And then you'll notice on the shanks there's a gap between the wire in the rear loop and the wire in the front loop. So what I'm going to do is rotate this vise, come to the center spot between those two wires. I'm going to take a piece of bead chain. So I'm going to cut off a set of two eyes, so it's going to be four eyes total. Use old scissors or basically a pair of cutters. Just gonna set them on the bottom, tie them in good. So you have four? Four eyes. Okay. So this is what the bottom is gonna look like. Perfect. So once we're here, I'm gonna take a piece, usually about an inch and a half, two inches. Like I said, I like to tie things, my material a little long, I can always use it again. I'm gonna attach a piece of the UV copper polar chenille. I'm just gonna palmer. Nice body. You know, it's going to be about four or five wraps. Basically, almost to the eye. Lock it in. Next, I'm going to take some Lady Amherst. And it's not so much to accent or anything. It's actually just to help hold up the wing that I'm going to build for this. So I'm going to, kind of, I'm going to come in and cut about a quarter of an inch off. You know, if I had to say in strands, it's, you know, 12 to 15 individual strands. Just right over the top. Just secure it behind the eyes. And I come to the front. What I'm going to do is just lock it down and then go back. And that's just to make sure that feather doesn't pull. And I just take my finger and I crimp it out a little bit. Then we're going to add a little bit of shimmer fringe and chartreuse. Right down the center again, you know, just under same length as uh, the Amherst. And then I'm using this speckled gold flashaboo. This is more or less a feel. Hold it up by the floor. It is a feel when I'm using this stuff. Is, is I'm going to build a heavy wing out of flash now, but it's all going to be in layers. So, you know, the best way to do it is is I grab just what I think is roughly 20 strands. I need about four to five inches. I'm going to cut that off. So we're going to be building this flash in layers. So what I'm going to do is set it right over. And what I want to do is I want to be just past my loop. I mean, just past, you know, an eighth of an inch, quarter inch. Fold it over. There's, there's your underwing. And all I'm trimming is uneven. That's going to be the first layer. Once again, we're going to use copper this time. Same amount. Now I'm just going to go just slightly longer than the gold. Fold it over. Trim it on an angle. Once again, we're going to do the back now with some green, some Kelly green. So what this does is it creates a really light wing. It's got a lot of movement, 
and flash of is naturally buoyant. When you put it in the water, you'll notice that it likes to hold up and rise off of the fly pattern just slightly, which is really nice. Gives it a lot of movement. So there's our wing. Lengths are right. Just going to trim it slightly. Got this little bump here, and I know it's a little unsightly now. The nice thing is, is we cover that. So what you're going to do is take, you can use olive, you can use whatever color you want, but I like to stay with the theme with this. And use some brown schloppen. I'm going to tie it in by the tip. You can fold that tip over and just use it if you want. It doesn't matter. Or you can trim it off. And I'm going to wind that thread in front of the eye. So now what we're going to do is just pull that open a little bit. We're going to cover that unsightly little bump that's there. Schlop. So and we're actually going to use the whole feather. So now that I'm toward the eye, what I'm going to do is bring it up, come in front of the eye, and wrap some of that marabou in, in front of the eye. And the eyes, the chains that you're seeing are basically used for counterbalance and for weight. This fly doesn't like to dive, and that way it won't sit back with the hook. It actually likes to sink like this, and I use this a lot when I'm fishing a lot of ledges or boulders and you know areas where I want the fly to seep down in. that off. There's our slop in. What I like to do is I like to just keep everything in theme. Everything straightened out. All the material primped out real nice. So I'll take the time and I'll brush them out. Next we're going to take some guinea. I like to find a full feather and come in and just take the marabou off. Take the marabou off. Keep some of the stem. And I don't, I don't typically need the whole feather, and I like to strip it. And what I do is I end up saving these. I'll end up saving all these little tips and putting them in a bag because I use them with my nymphs and dry flies and stuff like that. So I'm going to take the tip, tie it in, fold it over once again, keep that tip. doesn't hurt nothing. Just going to do some guinea. All I'm doing is just wrapping, making a collar. Just going to secure it in. There's our guinea collar. Now I'm going to use um, a set of real eyes um, through hairline. They're double-sided, two sizes, super durable, easy to tie in. And this is a new product and from And this hairline. is a new product from Hairline. So we're gonna take one, we're take it and tie it in by the tip. Nice thing is too, is these, they're, they're cut well. All you have to do is peel one off. They just peel right off. No cutting, no trimming. It's really nice. So now I commercial tie all the time. I don't take the time to whip finish, half hitch, or any of that stuff. Super glue with a brush. Just nice and easy. Touch it, gives you a glossy head every time. I'm usually tying five or six flies at the same time when I'm tying commercially. So this is how I finish it, and I move on to the next fly. That's the artificial intelligence.